In 2006, Liverpool were in a delicate financial situation. A deal with Dubai firm DIC was hanging in the balance and Liverpool chairman David Moores had to dig deep into his own pockets to furnish Rafa Benitez with the cash to buy his latest transfer targets. Dutchman Dirk Kout. However, there probably couldn't have been a safer bet in football. He became an iconic figure at the club. As a forward, his goals record isn't eye-catching, but he knew when to pick his moments. A real big game player. Let's look at seven of his most memorable games, goals and moments from his time at Anfield. It took a while for Cow to get off the mark for Liverpool, around five hours in fact, and some fans were wondering if spending £9 million on the Dutch forward was the best use of scarce transfer funds. It was a typical busy Cow performance, buzzing around and making a nuisance of himself. He missed a few easy chances in the game, but as usual, never allowed his head to drop. His persistence was rewarded when he converted the Steve Finning cross after 29 minutes. However, most fans remember the match for an entirely different reason. Xavi Alonso's audacious goal from his own half after spotting Newcastle keeper Steve Harper off his line. It would not be the last time that Cout would find his teammates in the limelight. In the noughties, it seemed like Liverpool were battling with Chelsea every other week and the area produced some classic duels which developed into a genuine rivalry. This was the second Champions League semi-final the two teams had faced each other in in three seasons, with Luis Garcia's ghost goal from 2005 still fresh in their memory. A Daniel Aga goal made things one all in the second leg, and Cal turned in a committed performance, rattling the crossbar and having a goal ruled out for offside. As the game concluded with a penalty shootout at the cop end, Cout stepped up to score the decisive penalty, with the Reds winning 4-1 to take them to the final in Athens. When Liverpool did reach the final, ultimately it was a disappointing affair. Two Filippo Inzaghi goals set Milan up for revenge for Istanbul and the Reds never really got going despite having what was probably the better team. Dirk Cout tried his best to turn things around with a header in the 89th minute, but it wasn't meant to be. It was an electric and bad-tempered atmosphere at Goodison Park and Cout was lucky to stay on the pitch after a lunge at Phil Neville. Everton took the lead via the Sammy Hoopier own goal. Cout leveled things with a penalty strike and the game looked to be heading towards a draw when up popped debutant Lucas Lever with a goal-bound shot that was saved by the arm of Neville. Everton were reduced to nine men and Cout once again showed his nerves of steel as he fired a second penalty past Tim Howard and headed towards the absolute delirium in the away end. As Liverpool headed into this lunchtime clash, no Liverpool player had scored a hat-trick in this fixture since Peter Beardsley in 1990. Liverpool were fired up from the first whistle with new boy Luis Suarez causing mayhem. He jinked his way around the United defence before trying his luck on goal, where Cout duly dispatched the ball from all of two yards out. His second goal came by the way of a mistake from Nani, who headed the ball into Cout's path in the six-yard box. The Dutchman rounded off his hat-trick after Edward van der Sar fumbled the Suarez free kick and Cout was left with another easy finish for a matter of yards. Both teams cancelled each other out in this FA Cup tie that never really got going. As the game was tied at one all, it looked to be heading towards a replay at Old Trafford. Fortunately, Dirk Kout had a never-say-die attitude, and after entering the pitch as a substitute on 62 minutes, he gave the Reds a focal point. Pepperini's goal kick found the head of Andy Carroll, who flicked the ball beyond Patrice Evra for Kout to hammer home his strike beyond the young David De Gea, sending the Reds into the fifth round. Kout played in big games for Liverpool, but only ended up with one winner's medal, the 2012 Carling Cup. The Reds were overwhelming favourites, but Cardiff City put up a gallant fight, taking the game into extra time. Cout came off the bench to put Liverpool 2 1 up, but once again they would be pegged back, taking the game to penalties. Of course, Dirk Cow took a penalty and scored it. Mr. Reliable once again stepped up when it mattered, and Liverpool went on to win the shootout 3 2. After leaving Liverpool in 2012, he enjoyed a successful time at Fenerbahce before returning to his first love, Feyenoord. He would retire from football in 2017 after securing an Eredivisie title triumph with a hat-trick in his last ever game. Dirk Kout, Liverpool and Feyenoord legend.